we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section sets relations and functions the problem is based on the concepts of relations this question has appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 28th june 2022 in the first shift the given question is let r1 and r2 be relations on the set consisting of 1 comma 2 comma etc comma 50 such that r1 is equal to the set consisting of ordered pairs p comma p power n where p is a prime and n greater than or equal to 0 is an integer r2 is equal to the set consisting of ordered pairs p comma p power n p is a prime and n is equal to 0 or 1 then the number of elements in r1 minus r2 is so we are given a set consisting of positive integers 1 to 50 and we are given two relations r1 and r2 those relations are on this set and r1 is given like this r2 is given like this required to find the number of elements in r1 minus r2 this is the given question for reference we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail now let us name this set consisting of 1 to 50 as a and recall a relation on a is a subset of a cross a agreed let p be the set of primes in this set capital a that is the set consisting of 1 to 50 who are they then p consists of the primes 2 3 5 7 11 etc up to 47 because we have to get the primes from the set consisting of 1 to 50 so the last prime is 47 and how many these are 15 primes in number agreed given r1 and r2 are relations on a so r1 is equal to the set of ordered pairs p comma p power n where p is a prime number and p power n is an element of a and n greater than or equal to 0 is an integer yes that definition of r1 is this one in clear terms r2 the set of all ordered pairs p comma p power n p is a prime number that means p belongs to capital p and p power n is an element of a where n is equal to 0 or 1 agreed so these are relations r1 r2 are relations on the set a now what is our goal our goal is to find the number of elements in r1 minus r2 agreed now make an observation observe that every element of r2 what is an element of r2 p comma p power n p belongs to p p power n belongs to a n is equal to 0 or 1 so that every element of r2 is also there in r1 why p comma p power n p belongs to p p power n belongs to a n greater than or equal to 0 is an integer which includes n is equal to 0 and 1 so that is why every element of r2 is also an element of r1 and r2 is a proper subset of r1 agreed 
so then r1 minus r2 now becomes the set of all ordered pairs p comma p power n p is a prime number p power n belongs to a n greater than or equal to 2 is an integer because n is equal to 0 and 1 it has gone away from r2 so you have subtracted them so the n will start from 2 an integer in n greater than or equal to 2 an integer now make a make a enumeration so you start with 2 p is p the first p is 2 2 comma 2 2 comma n will start from 2 onwards so 2 comma 2 square 2 comma 2 cube 2 comma 2 power 4 2 comma 2 power 5 2 power 5 is 32 that will also include here because p power n must belong to a if you take 2 to the power of 6 that is 64 which is beyond 50 that will not be there so that will be the set consisting of 2 comma 2 square because n greater than or equal to 2 2 comma 2 cube 2 comma 2 power 5 2 comma 2 power 4 2 comma 2 power 5 and 2 comma 2 power 6 will not be included here because 2 power 6 is uh, is is greater than 50 therefore it will stop there the next prime you take 3 3 then it will be 3 comma 3 square because n greater than or equal to 2 is an integer 3 comma 3 cube is 3 cube is 27 3 comma 3 power 4 3 power 4 is 81 you know doesn't belong to a therefore only two elements then the next one 5 5 comma 5 square because n greater than or equal to 2 5 comma 5 cube 5 cube is 125 doesn't belong to a therefore get satisfied only after that the next prime 7 7 comma 7 square that's all 7 cube is you know doesn't belong to a so therefore this is the only element the next the next is 11 11 comma 11 square 11 square a doesn't belong to a from there onwards 13 square 17 square 19 square 23 square 29 square 39 square 37 square 41 square 43 square 47 square that doesn't belong to a therefore it will stop there itself now count the elements now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the number of elements present in r1 minus r2 is given by 8 right that is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem which is related to relations from the section sets relations and functions i am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem and i wish you all the best thank you